My name's George Hillary. And I'm Alexander Hillary, and we're here at the Grand Mercure Hotel, start of New Zealand Fashion Week. I mean, the inspiration behind the brand is our grandfather's and his team's amazing journey back in 1953, and it's really a chance to keep that legacy alive and, and keep it growing. Well, it's about continuing that, that legacy of adventure and, and inspiring adventure and going out there and, and challenging oneself. So we hope that the clothing uh, embodies that spirit of adventure. Any brand that was going to bear Ed's name, our grandfather's name, had to have that charitable aspect to it, and this one's no different. So there's a trust set up, and a percentage of all sale revenue goes into that trust, and then it's distributed to projects in Nepal, and also more locally too. He does have an enormous legacy of climbing and philanthropy in Nepal. So it's really a privilege to be given the opportunity to inspire people to get outside, also to engage in that philanthropy side of things. So it's, yeah, it's a real privilege. Well, they're really, they're really quality uh, heritage pieces. So they're inspired from, from the adventure of the Ascent of Everest in 1953. It's just a modern touch on what they had back in, in 1953. And there's a team of designers, they poured over thousands of images to make it look as authentic as possible, but also be conducive with what people want to wear today. They're not designed for climbing. They're, they're designed for town, they're designed for a round town. Mm. But we have taken them up mountains. We just had them in Russia on Mount Elbrus and they dealt pretty well there. But that's definitely not where we're designing them for. These are really quality pieces um, to be worn around town. The quality is as, as good as you can get, but I think the jackets are probably too nice to wreck up on a mountain. I think you want to preserve them. So the main standout from other outdoor brands is we're a premium heritage clothing brand and there's a foot in outdoor clothing and there's a foot in fashion as well. So it gets a really nice blend of both fields. I definitely think there's, there's a vision for moving into the kind of ski gear kind of area, but at the moment it's these heritage pieces, these timeless pieces. There's a few exciting things coming. We were, initially there isn't going to be a women's range, but we're looking at that for next year. I think there's different aspects of clothing, so a lighter sort of spring summer range maybe down the track. Oh, the modelling debut. Well, that's, of all the things we've done, that's really pushed us out of our, our comfort zone, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's good fun. We had a rehearsal with our little sister, Lily, and you know, we we're all a bit nervous, but um, the lady taking us through, she said, you don't have to be nervous before you step out because I'm literally just going to push you onto the stage <laughs> and there's no, there's, no second, there's no second chance, basically. But yeah, it's been a bit of fun. So this is definitely the first, the, the global launch. The clothes will be available online, edmundhillary.com, and then we're in discussion with retailers at the moment to get that in stores across New Zealand. Ed's legacy is uh, not so much about climbing Everest, but more about determination and a sense of adventure, a real adventurous spirit. That's something we would really like to, to draw out through the clothing brand.